In this video we'll talk about how event propagation works when you click on um, a uh, item uh, in a list control row. So you can see that we have a simple list over here and when I click anywhere on the row here I get uh, an, uh, a JavaScript event fires and the click on row event fired. But when I click on the uh, disclosure button over here then I get the click on disclosure button uh, the click on uh, disclosure event firing but the click on row event did not fire and the reason that it did not fire is we explicitly went to the if you look here at my fields I have a dynamic image over there which is displaying that um, little greater than sign over there and then in my on click event I have click on disclosure and then I've said uh, stop event propagation. So now let me turn off stop event propagation, go over to working preview now. So now when I click on the uh, disclosure button, uh, we see the click on row event fire and then the click on disclosure event fire. So in some cases you might want both events to fire, but if you want uh, the when the user taps on uh, the image, if you want that event to fire but not the event that is defined at the uh, row level which would be this event the on click event if you so if you only want the uh, click on the button event to fire then you would choose to um, stop the event propagation as we have um, over here and now you can see that when we click on the um, icon the click on disclosure event fires if I click anywhere else the click on the row event fires so this explains the concept of event propagation when you're uh, clicking or tapping on different parts of a row in a list control thanks very much for watching